Welcome to Magpie's Cottage Podcast. It's September. Can you believe our summer's gone? <laughs> yeah, September 1st. Wow. So how'd you survive the storms? Uh, nothing. Well, we were at school. Oh, okay. So it was open house at school. So okay. it was a total, di- open house was a total disaster, but the storms are fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't have any storm damage at my house either. Oh, my, I have one of these um, mosaic kind of gazing ball things. Uh-huh. Yeah, we found that in the neighbor's yard. Oh. It's still in one piece. Okay, yeah. So we just good. had a garbage can blow out down the way. That was it. So, yeah. but Lori had a tornado oh. hit her house or something because her, her chimney was ripped off. Trees this big knocked right over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was pretty bad. So, so I don't even know. There was one that was in the town of Wilson. Mm-hmm. I don't know where that hit because it wasn't close to my house, and I'm one block out of the town. Yeah. So I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it was closer to the lake because some people came in here that were camping at Terry Andre uh-huh. right after the storm, and they said they felt the ground shake. Oh, my. They were all in the ladies' showers. Well, that's what you do <laughs> when you're campers. in a campground. Yeah, yes, all the you campers go to the shower room. They said it was quite close in the showers. <laughs> that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, so. Okay. So, what you got new? Well, I've been eating a lot this week on secret stuff, so I can't show it. Sock oh. Club socks. They're turning out gorgeous. But I did rip them out like 18 times, so... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's taking up a lot of my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a secret project on the needles, too. Oh. Can't talk about it. It's a shawl. Okay. Mystery shawl number, I don't know, whenever I feel like doing that one. But um, I figured it out. That was good. Okay. A few, few rip outs, but I got it. Good, good. So, so. I, yeah, I have to figure out from you. I hope I printed the right pattern for today. Well, we'll see. (laughs) (laughs) I might have six patterns up there that nobody needs. I didn't change that one. Oh, okay, good. So, yeah, that one's been in there for a long time, so we should be good. Okay. All right. We're talking about the Mystery Shawl Mania. Uh, That starts today, the the first class is today. We had a bonus one earlier, but this is the first actual one. I'm wearing the bonus one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have it on. This is um, Loop by Casapinka. Um, and it's in my favorite color combo, gray and pink. So yep. um, beautiful. Yeah, this one was it's fun. Really and nice. oh my gosh, the colors that all the people in the class that are knitting mm-hmm. it, um, that they chose, is freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Cool. Neat, neat stuff to see. Mm-hmm. I so, like the way the ends curl around. I do too. That I do too. And I think you can even, when you black it, I think you can even accentuate that. Let them curl. Okay. You know, and then it just blacks out the, the curves so nice. So, mm-hmm. um, Casa Pinka has had a lot of really, really cool patterns out lately, and I, I happen to um, really like knitting her, her work. It's easy to read, easy to follow, creative, cool. textury, fun. All right. Okay. So, um, talking a little about what's new in the shop, I got lots new in the shop, even if I don't have a lot of new knitting. Um, Plymouth Yarn Mega Cakes. These are 150 grams. They're just like the Encore Mega. Okay. But they're self-striping. And uh, we have several different colors. Wow. And I think they're 75, 25, just like the Encore Mega. So, yeah. Just a little bit of acrylic in them. No, 75 acrylic. Oh, other way around. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Got it. So... And then there was one new color of Encore Mega, this blue. Hmm. Yeah, these go for quick cowls. People like them for the hoods or the cowls real yeah. fast. In the wintertime, that's what people buy those for. Hmm. So, um. The colors of Venezia. Yeah. Oh, I just dropped something. Um, we got three new colors of Venezia. Oh, I love Venezia. It's a beautiful yarn. Yeah. Yep, I like it too. It's that silk in there. It just mm-hmm. gives it such nice drape. This purple, oh, I love that. Looks a little dark, but but as I found out with my crown wools, knitting dark purple is almost as bad as knitting black. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, I ripped out. I'm not usually one that has to rip out much, but I ripped out over and over just just to get those little lines lined up. <laughs> You know what? Mine was purple, too, when I did that. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. This is 
Adria Phil Knit Coal. We have Knit Coal in the store already. This is just another new color. Uh, this is the one that's uh, DK weight, but it's self-patterning. So kind of like, like the socks are, but it's, a, you know, DK weight, quick baby sweaters. Mm-hmm. So, um... I knit, use Knit Coal for a pair of socks for Cora. They were so cute. Oh, like Like slipper okay. socks? Yeah. And they were so cute the way it's striped up. I think that's fun. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. This is Hempathy. Um, oh, this is from Elsbeth Lavold, um, and it's Hempathy. It's cotton, hemp, and modal blend. I, we just got a couple colors to see if people like it. It's good for summer knitting. I know we're almost done with summer, but um, oh. the rep came, had it, and I thought, well, you know, I've heard of a bunch of other people loving this stuff for summer tops. Well, you know, I've been on a summer tea kind of like looking at Ravelry patterns. Mm -hmm. And I've got this summer tea, like, um, bundle now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them call for this stuff. Okay. So. Now hmm. there's small balls, so. 153 yards, so. We got 10 of each color. I don't know if I have to order more to get sweaters. Well, I'm gonna have to look and see what quant, you know, cause like 110 yeah. of them would be 1500 yards. That'd be a pretty good size. It might yeah, fit me. Yeah, that would be a good sweater because it's going to be short sleeve. Yeah, it'll be, yeah, cap sleeve or something. Yeah. This gray is pretty and so is that green. Yeah. And cool. So, and then I got uh, a couple new colors of the silky wool. Now, this I used, I made that one purple sweater a long time ago. I got to get that out again. And I really like working this. This is another one that's, it's a wool and silk blend. DK Wade. Like, yep. I think it's like 50-50. Wait, 45 oh no. wool, 35 silk, and 20 nylon. I like mm -hmm. the idea of the 20 nylon. That'll help it sh hold its shape a little better. You mm -hmm. know, when, sometimes when you knit um, t-shirty kinds of things, they get kind of stretched out funny, yeah. you yeah. know? And I hate that. Mm -hmm. And it just takes takes a project that after you first block it, you love it and you're proud to wear it. And then mm -hmm. after you, it, no, not so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, so. right, so that'll be nice. So yeah, we got two new colors of that. We still have like These four or five other colors on the shelf from from last year yet. Um, but yeah, I think I want to knit another top with this because that first sweater, it's just the right weight. It's like a little heavier than fingering weight, but it's not real heavy. I don't no. like worsted Would you, weight pullovers. No. Well, worsted weight in general, I just find is very heavy to wear in a sweater unless it would be a cardigan. I mm -hmm. can do cardigans in worsted weight, mm -hmm. but anything that's pullover, I truly prefer a DK or a fingering. Mm -hmm. And it takes forever to knit a fingering, but you know, yeah. oh well. Um, but yeah, I should look at what colors you've got. Okay. This is pretty. Yeah. Yeah, something for fall. Yeah, and a good price point on these. Are these 100? No, I don't, they're 50. Oh, no, 50. Okay, yeah. that's why the price looks so good. I thought it was too good to be true. Yeah, well, you know what, though? <laughs> Under it's 10 good bucks. yarn with silk in it, you know. Um, you figure, I figured 20 bucks for 100, 100 grams. Mm -hmm. That's not bad yeah. for a good yarn with silk in it. Yeah. You know? Yep. Some things so, are just worth knitting. So that's what we have new in the shop. What have you been knitting this week? Oh, well, I have three FOs. Oh, the good first, for you. our backdrop today is my crown wools. Um, and I loved knitting that. I did, and it blocked uh -huh. out. It's really long, so it's, I'm going to have to wrap it a few times. Like we've got it wrapped around there um, a couple of times. And I love knitting that. Now she came out with the bonus, the mitts. I don't know if I'm going to knit the mitts uh -huh. or not. I like them, um, uh -huh. I think it's a cute pattern. I just don't know if I want to knit mitts right now. So okay. I was knitting those ones I showed last time we were on, and I ended up frogging them because I didn't like the way they um, they were fading into the, the colors. Oh, I didn't okay. like the way it was looking. I need a pattern that is going to just be less pattern so that I can accentuate the fade. So I'm okay. still working on that. Oddly enough, the crown wool's pattern might work for that very thing. Okay. But because in the crown wools, you're changing colors, so you get all the, mm -hmm. the 12, was, yeah, it was 12 colors. You get all the colors in the mitts. You're in changing. a little bitty mitt, you got 12 colors? Well, they're about yay long. Oh, yeah, my. You know. <laughs> yeah, so okay. you knit like maybe four rows. I mean, it's your leftovers. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and I have a small 
quantity uh -huh. of all of my colors left. Okay. I think there's one color that I have, um, the first one, the first color, that one I have very little left and I'm wondering how I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have enough of that one. Okay. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll get around to them maybe, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So then, so you want FOs? Yes. Okay. So yes, I finished my crown walls. I did these yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, look at there those. There they are. My little kindness monsters. Okay, uh, this is a free pattern on Ravelry, and it's called Kindness, uh, Little Kindness Monster. It's just adorable. So um, this one, all right, they're just knit out of worsted weight at a really tight gauge for worsted weight. I think I knit them on a three, um, you know, so for worsted, three is pretty dense. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, so you knit the main body, you knit the, all the pieces, and you just assemble them you know, stuff it, then assemble them. Okay, stuffing the arms and legs was kind of tricky, but I uh -huh. got it. Um, Cora picked the colors for this one, hence all the multicolors. And then this guy is going to my classroom. We're going to be using him as kind of like a, a mascot, if you will, in my classroom. So oh. um, I had a blast. I just sat there and just playing with these yesterday was so uh -huh. much fun. So wow. Cora doesn't know I swiped hers for this podcast. So uh -huh. I'll have to get it get it back to her tomorrow. So okay. little kindness monster free rot pattern on Ravelry. And, and what do you, do you use? Safety eyes on there? Yeah, these are safety eyes. Okay. Um, 12 millimeter safety okay. eyes. Okay. Is this color work for the heart or did that? No, duplicate. Du duplicate? Duplicate. Okay. So that was really easy. Yeah. Um, in the pattern, it doesn't have the sequence real of what you do first but I'll just mm -hmm. throw it out there how I figured out to do these efficiently and easily is first you knit the body um, and then before you you'd use a on the bottom here there's a, a three needle bind off mm -hmm. before you do the three needle bind off put your eyes in put your uh, embroider your mouth duplicate stitch your little heart and then stuff it, and then do your three needle bind off. Okay. That sequence of those things was not real clear in the pattern. The pattern's easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they were easy, quick knit. It's just stacking it in the round, you know. But um, the sequence of putting it together took a little thinking. And then after I had it stuffed, and I just kind of let him watch while I knit his ears and his arms and his legs. Um, if you can knit your arms and legs um, two at a time, it goes a mm -hmm. little quicker. Um, because it's just this four stitch, no, it's an eight stitch tube for the arms and legs. Okay. And I, okay, I hate double points. It's just this thing. She calls for double points. I magic loop the whole thing, even the arms and the legs. Okay. And so that's why I'm thinking if you put like two or three arms, you know, on, a, on the needle, put, like I did two at a time. Um, for this one, because then I could do a blue one and a green one at the mm -hmm. same time, you know. These I did separately, and it took a little bit longer. But nonetheless, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, you do them one at a time. If you want to put it, you start out with one stitch, and then you increase to get the, okay. you know. And it's like, I really, really hate one stitch at a time on a mm -hmm. double point. Now, granted, the first row, you knit front and back of that first stitch, but, and so then you get two. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, I... Um, but I, I, when I made Bon Bon, I remember, because he started out, you know, at the end of the foot, and, like, the double points kept wanting to twist, and then all of a right. sudden, you don't know which needle is next. Right. With Magic Loop, you wouldn't have that You issue. don't have that problem. So, um, and then I Magic Loop the hat, um, and, and, and there's, it's so cute because the, the ears are actually sewn to the head, and the hat comes off. Does it really? Yes, it comes oh. up, and he's got these cute little ear holes in there. Oh, adorable. <laughs> he is so cute. Okay, I had the pattern laying at home because I was going to make this for my classroom all along. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, so I had the pattern laying at home. Cora sees it, and she said, oh, Grandma, you knit me that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, can I say no? No. No. So hers oh. was actually the one I did first in her prototype. She was uh -huh. the prototype. And, I mean, they are just just adorable. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, I've been seeing a lot of monster type things. Oh, monsters Ravelry. are huge, huge, yeah. huge. Yeah. So, um, yeah, love them. Okay. They are adorable. Yes, my little dollies. So, then, okay, you get the reveal first. This is the mystery shawl for this month. 
um, we are having our class later this morning to re to reveal this to all the other ones. So no, so technically they will see it before you, but let's just not worry about that. This is Therapy by Laura Ayler. And I knit it in Malabrigo sock. And the speckle in the center is um, Blue Doxy Dye Works. This is the, oh, the wire hair, the twisty wire hair. I can't remember. It's 7525. Yes. Yeah. As, and I love this base, okay? It has become one of mm -hmm. my new favorite yarns. And then the, the purple is also Malabrigo. And the two paired well together. I'm not one that matches, mixes up her bases, but sometimes you gotta. Mm -hmm. And um, it's got picots along the edge. Now, you do not need to pin out every single pico, all right? Um, they, they stuck out just fine by themselves. Garter, mm -hmm. let, garter stitch, stripes, mesh, what more can a girl want? Okay? Yeah. Love this shawl. It's this beautiful. is really pretty. I love the way that, okay, I saw, I was going to knit this in a completely different colorway. And we, we sat that one night trying to get the right gold mm -hmm. to go with my browns. And then I, 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 that's what I wanted. Well, then I saw this speckle. That, that Laurel died up, mm -hmm. and I just said, no, 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 I want that. Yeah. Um, I, we had this terracotta in the shop, mm -hmm. and I happened to have stashed the purple at home. Oh, good. So it just worked out perfect, and I love this shawl. Mm -hmm. I'm never one, I don't think I've got anything orange in my closet. Purple Oh, yet. okay. Yeah. So I can't wait to wear this. I might have to take it off the mannequin. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it does look, it screams Halloween, and the yarn is called Halloween Confetti. Yeah. and But, I mean, you can wear it year-round, of course, but, you know, the orange and the purple, yeah, that screams I Halloween I love to me. this one. It does. Yeah. It does. I love it. So, I Very can't nice. wait to show this to the class. It turned out, oh, way better than I thought. It was one of these things where I saw those three yarns um, sitting together. I, I think what happened was I saw the speckle. The Halloween speckle or Halloween confetti speckle, and I said I love this yarn. I just love fell mm -hmm. in love with the color. So then I saw the, the orange sitting on the on the rack over there, um, and I thought, okay, the orange is great, and I knew I had the purple. Mm -hmm. So I just yep, brought bought those two, took it home, and the perfect pur the purple was perfect. Cool. So Very I nice. cannot wait yeah. to show this to yeah. the class today. They're gonna love it. Yeah, and it was not a complicated knit. It went mm -hmm. fast. Um, because you start out, you know, you always want to get to the next section. So you got, you start out with your first solid section, then your second, your first stripe section, and your mesh, and then you just go, go, go. And, mm -hmm. you know, the repeat is easily memorized. The mesh is easy to do. So, yeah. I, Beautiful. Great. It's gorgeous. Great early, early fall shawl. It's not mm -hmm. real heavy. Um, yeah. And yeah. so, yeah. And, yeah, I've been using this base, too, of Laurel's. Dox, Blue Doxy Dye Works, and uh, I'm doing the sock club with it next time. A little sneak peek uh, there. But I love working with it. Even the part where I ripped it out 18 times. To it's get handling the, it. Yeah, yeah. It's It's got a little splitty, but it handled it. It's not all fuzzy. It's, you know, holding up well. That's one thing with the pattern designing. You rip out a lot. You do. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I don't do Gorgeous. Design. So those are my... Um, FOs for the week. Okay. And then I have, I and just I brought, have none. No. Well, you've well, been busy. Well, I have something finished. I have one finished object. Okay. I've been making all these stitch markers. Oh, let me open them. Oh. Um, they're these kind of stitch markers where it's the wire with hmm. the beads. Oh, are these cool beads? Yeah. And I got all, huh. like these are, these are with some of my favorites here. All of them are on blue wire. So I got this one. These are those little glass beads. <gasps> I love those beads. Oh, are they pretty. I made a bracelet for myself with those beads too. <laughs> I didn't wear it today, but yeah. Okay, so you have been busy. Yeah, so these. Okay, so how do you do the end? I use jewelry cement, and then after the jewelry cement dries, then I cut it, I trim it. Okay. I got a teeny tiny wire cutter that gets in there and trims it. Fascinating. Yeah, but of course you have to do jewelry cement the last thing of the night, otherwise you get high off of it. 
<laughs> yeah. You end up with some pretty, pretty crazy colors. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So. So yeah. So I did have something I finished this week. Wow. Well, they're very pretty. Thank you. Hmm. Well, and then I am working on this week my Sheboygan shawl. Okay. I went with blue. There is this part of me that wishes she would have done purple, but we're not going to go there. Uh -huh. But um, it's my Sheboygan shawl. This is how far I am. My speckle that I'm using is called Blueberry Crumble. It's Plymouth. Okay. And it has pink and purple and blue. And I picked mm -hmm. out the blue thinking, because I wear a lot of blue. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I put the blue with it. But as it's knitting up, I keep seeing the purple. Mm -hmm. And so it's like the blue should pull out the blue, but it doesn't seem to do that. So I don't know. There is this okay. part of me, a small part that wants to frog <coughs> it, start over <coughs> with a purple and put purple with it. I don't know. I'm not that far. So we'll see. Which today would be this purple? That purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what my Sheboygan shell was out of. Yeah. See, nobody, you didn't have this in stock when no. I, I mean, this is from my stash. Um, now you've got it. Mm hmm But I just seem to think I might like the purple with it. I don't know. Okay. And the what other we're comparing it to is this. I'm <gasps> sorry. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm working on. And, of course, okay. I have started shawl, the next shawl for the shawl series. And, and, and I'm, I've got that going. And I still have not finished. I showed it last week. My three-color cashmere. Right now I'm in this, uh, using this, the, the, the black section, I'm calling it. Mm -hmm. And, okay, that's hard to knit at night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I've got, mm, what did I figure, eight rows left of it. Okay. And, but they're long, you know, 430 right. yep. stitches yeah. or so. Yeah. Yep. So they take a while. Mm -hmm. But last night I was trying to knit it watching the Badger game. Yeah, okay, I fell asleep. Uh. <laughs> I never fall asleep when I knit, but uh -huh. I did last night. I was really tired. Oh, okay. So, okay. Okay. What I'm working on, I'm still working on my crown walls. Not like hers done. Mine's just clue four. So I got all four colors in now. Now I'm repeating these four colors over and over. I'm not... Um, not using 12 separate minis, so I'm just using four colors. So that's where I am with that. And then I didn't bring my bag, but at home I'm still working on my Black Cat Fibers, uh, the Glacier tunic. I'm right, like, just before the arms split, so... You should bring that. I haven't seen it since you've been working on that. Yeah, I'll try to remember next week. But right before the arm split, so the rows are huge. They're really long. It's yeah. raglan sleeves. Right, yeah, raglan construction boy. Right before those arms split, those rows mm -hmm. are long. Yeah. And plus, this one has a scoop down, so it's even longer oh. because of that. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm working on that at home and my crochet memory blanket. That's turning out really cool. I like that. Okay. I'm going to do that with my scraps from now on. I'll finish the other ones I have going, but... From going forward, that'll be my go-to scrap blanket. So you're going to, what, finish something, fingering weight yarn, and automatically do your squares? My, for your, for my, your memory blanket? It's stripes. It's oh, just it's keeps stripes. going. It's called a granny stripe blanket. I showed oh. it a couple weeks ago. It's just back and forth. Got it. Yeah, yeah, so you don't make squares, so... I don't know. It just I was seems thinking to it was the faster. one. I was thinking it was the one where you pick up on the edge, square one. Oh, that was Hexies. Hexies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't have very far on that. I'm only like on the second well, or third row. Well, but see, row. the thing is, though, the way you're doing your your scrappy blanket at home, that makes sense because then you just add on that yarn, mm -hmm. and away you go. Whereas I think with the Hexies, you have to really to get a nice flow. You almost have to plan it all out before mm -hmm. you do it. That's the way I saw it. Yeah, yeah, you can't like put two in a row. That would look funny. Whereas this, you can go as long as you have it and it, and it looks good. You know, sometimes your stripes will be one row, sometimes your stripe will be four rows. Okay. And it'll look good no matter what. Well, it will, yeah. Yeah. So, so hmm, yeah, interesting. I'll, I'll remember to bring that next time. Yeah, I got a boatload of fingering weight um, Scraps. I, I was uh -huh. like, I cleaned out of my one of my other knitting bags. You know, we have mm -hmm. multiple of these things, mm -hmm. and I try to only have one that I carry with me all the time. But I was cleaning out the one that sits by my chair at home, and 
I had this pile, this mound of all balls of leftover whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow. Yeah. You know? So. Yep. Well, we're going to do a magic cake exchange in January at the retreat. Yeah. So split them by, like, weight and... Most of them will be most, fingering. Most of them are fingering. Yeah. Just about, I, actually, I would say that other than there was one that was not fingering. Okay. Um, it was a worsted weight that I did a hat out of. And then the other was another one that I did a, uh, that's like a sport or a DK, a little heavier. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Oh, it was. Um, Were you a beekeeper? No. Ah, well, I can't remember the okay. name. Okay. We have it. I'll go mm -hmm. find it later. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna do magic cake exchange in January, so that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I, I was, I think I was telling you Thursday, I'm gonna take all my scraps and split them in half and make a magic cake for myself and then one to exchange so that I don't give away all of mine, you know, and then not have any. Oh, cause you so, want it for your memory blanket. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So um, that's it for what you're working on? That's it. All right. You got any knit alongs going? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Are you going to do the um, last one of the Helen Stewart shells? I think so, but I kind of applying some self discipline here. Uh huh. Um, two shawls, my Sheboygan one and my three color cashmere, must, absolutely must be off the needles mm -hmm. um, before I start it. Okay. So I, I just, I'm getting to the point where I have too many unfinished things mm -hmm. and, you know, I really need to finish them. Mm -hmm. um, there are times when I will frog it and mm -hmm. not finish it. You know, I mean, and I might frog this one and because I'm not, yeah, if I'm you're not, not happy with the I'm colors. not a hundred percent with this blue. Maybe it's the wrong blue. I don't know. I, I like may frog, it, I like it, you know, but... I want to knit it. I like the shawl. I love the pattern. Hey, maybe I should use my brown speckle that I was going to use for therapy mm -hmm. and knit it with the, the chocolate. Because mm -hmm. I want to knit this shawl. Otherwise, what about go? Th how many stripes are there total? I was going to say go Let's three say stripes six. blue and then three stripes purple and then end with blue again and... Well, that's a possibility. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I you know, you you see the colors sitting next to each other. Mm -hmm. They look fine together. Mm -hmm. I think it looks beautiful, but it's up to you. I don't know. Here, show them one more time, and they all right. can all write in. You on can the all comments. write in. What should I do with this? Frog or finish? There we have it. Yep. You'll have Frog to check or back finish. in the comments and see what people are saying. Okay. We'll do. Okay. So hey, we're gonna have something new coming up called Doggy Bags. I love these. This is gonna be uh, a collaboration of Blue Doxy Dye Works and Magpie's Cottage. Um, we're gonna have a bag and a yarn subscription service. So you would sign up for um, a three month subscription, it's three months at a time that you purchase, and you can purchase one, two, or three skeins. So, um, I'm showing the first one, after that it's gonna be all mysteries. The first one is, this is the yarn. The Doxy Dye Works, it's the short hair again. It's- uh, Oh, my favorite base. The 7525. And this is the bag, if you get the three skein package, we're gonna have the bags will go with what you buy. So if you buy just one, it'll be a smaller sock, sack, like for socks. The two will be like this size, but without the mesh. And this will be the three. And we ch we're coordinating the bag and the yarn. You can see they go together. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This has been kind of like, this fabric you've had around on the table mm -hmm. and done bags with, and I love it. Yeah. I love it. So that's available now to go to the website and if you go to www.makepiececottage.com and then hit shop, you'll see yarn subscriptions there. And you can go there and sign up for one, two, or three skeins. It can be mailed to your house or you can check local pickup and pick it up at the store. Save the shipping costs. But yeah, I hope you, you all enjoy it. 
The yarn's beautiful. I'm excited about it. Yes. Yep. So, what are you going to be doing? <gasps> We're going to a retreat! Yeah! <laughs> We're getting pretty excited. Ann Bud's uh, Knit for Fun retreat up in Sturgeon Bay is coming up um, the third weekend in September. And it's like my husband and I were trying to plan some um, uh, activities, you know, some golf mm -hmm. with some friends and what have you the, in September. And uh, he, he says, uh, boy, you got a busy September. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he wanted to go play golf that weekend. I said, sorry, you can go play, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm busy. Yeah. Well, so. yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, yes. I have to get fun. started on my homework. I haven't started. I'll start two days before. Yeah, okay, I'm no, 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 no. I'm well, a procrastinator. Well, I go back to work on Tuesday. Oh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So, yeah. oh, come on. I, I, I'll be fine once I'm there. Mm -hmm. It's just that I enjoy I enjoy the, the, the freedom to do as I please, be creative when I want mm -hmm. in summer. I love my summers because it's so completely different from my school year. Yeah. School year, I'm ducks in a row organized because I'm working and, you know, everything has to be planned out. Whereas in summer, hmm, I get up, what do you want to do today? That's kind of nice. Thing. And That's I, nice. so for me, it's a completely di sh different lifestyle almost. Mm -hmm. And so I enjoy this lifestyle. I call it retirement training. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. And um, so, you know, I'll be fine once I get there. I'm excited. We had mm -hmm. we tried to have open house. The storms kind of mess with that. I met some of my kids and some of their parents, and I'm excited about mm -hmm. that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I teach fourth grade at Grant in Sheboygan. And um, so I'm looking forward um, to this school year, um, definitely. It's just that it's like, I don't want to go back attitude. Yeah, that, you know. yeah. The kids have that same attitude. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, we've been talking a lot about be kids. They're more nervous about school than they let on. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. I had, of the couple of parents that did brave the storm and that I had time to talk to when we weren't, you know, sitting in our tornado shelter um, during our open house, I did get to chat. And, yeah, there's a lot. Kids get way more nervous. And we were talking mm -hmm. about that. So, um, and, and, of course, my granddaughter, Cora, who is my... Um, the love of my life right now. Um, she starts kindergarten, and she was telling me, Grandma, I'm so nervous. And so mm -hmm. we had a long talk about, yeah. you know, nervous, nervousness and school starting. So for mm -hmm. all those little ones that are heading off to school Tuesday, give them an extra hug. They're nervous. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So um, we have a sale coming up September 15th on that Saturday. Um, we're... The knitters here at the shop are bringing in their stash that they're no longer using, and we're going to sell it. So it, it's a slightly used sale, I guess we're calling it. Well, for yeah. them, it's the stash busters. It's still in a hank, so it's yep. not really used. Right. And it's not scraps. Right. It's no, no. Full skeins it's full skeins. It's full skeins. And you know what I think is fun about it is that, well, when I go to a knitting event, I'm buying yarn from all different mm -hmm. dyers. Um, and, you know, I've got yarns from Europe that aren't real common around here. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think for the person who doesn't get to those kinds of events, it's a way to shop different yarns. And different mm -hmm. yarns behave differently. Yarn is not yarn, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'm excited about it. I, I started mm -hmm. pulling out some things because um, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm excited because mm -hmm. I want to be able to show some of the fun things that I've purchased, you know, and I, you know, mm -hmm. I buy way more yarn than I'm ever going to knit in a lifetime anyway. So, mm -hmm. and my color palette changes. Yes, very much so. I was very into orange all summer and you probably look back and can see things I knit. Everything was orange or gold. And all of a sudden, everything that's blue and teal and aqua is what's appealing to me. Hmm. So I don't know if I'm in a shift right now. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe. So, but yeah, um, we're going to have up to 10 sellers. They price their own items. The seller list is not full if you yeah, get in on it. Yeah, there's a couple spots left. So. And, uh, yeah, it's just a one day only, just Saturday, September 15th. So try to get here. You might find some really good deals on, on hard-to-find yarns. Definitely so, yeah. sounds fun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have shop other people's staff. I can't yeah, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. So um, the last thing I want to mention is uh, our January retreat registration is now open. 
If you're interested in coming with us to West Bend to Cedar Valley Retreat Center for three days of knitting with your buddies, and uh, mm. we got a lot of classes. There's a lot of people signed up to teach classes. There's going to be a good variety. Um, we might almost have to um, kind of limit some of that. I, I'm going to put it on the Ravelry boards. I'm going to put a sign up in probably about November, because I think we're going to have to limit these to like eight to ten people in a class. Yeah, because the one that I'm going to teach, the OMG Heal, because, um, mm -hmm. you know, and there were two of them that I was asked to teach another one on how to use different things about Ravelry, because I mm -hmm. use Ravelry a lot. Um, you know, there's this part of me that says, well, wait a minute. If I'm teaching two classes, gosh darn, I want my knitting time. Right. So, I don't know. I think we got to kind of limit it. Maybe uh -huh. I'll only do one. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Somebody else can do the, the Ravelry one, too. I mean... And, I mean, the Ravelry one, I wouldn't even do that more than an hour, if you do do it. And then my, an hour. Yeah. Because after that, people are... It's just going to go right back out of their head if you do too much. That's true. Yeah. Um, and, and I... And the same thing is true with the OMG Heal. It's an hour. No mm -hmm. longer than that. Okay. So, um... All right. Some class spots will leave up to two hours, depending on the teacher. They can tell us if they want 30 minutes, 60, or two hours. Okay. So, yeah, we'll put that on Ravelry. Um, I'll probably start a chatter thread, too, soon for people oh, just to talk. Idea. Yeah. yeah, and especially if you want a, a roommate or something, if you want to sign up for a double room and you want to chat with people, you'll be able to do that there. Mm -hmm. So um, we're more than half full already. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, and it just got released. So so don't hesitate. If you want to get in on it, um, sign up soon. You can call. Um, I don't have it online to sign up, so call or come in and we'll give you the forms. Or you can... Call and I'll email you the form so you can get that all filled out and call back with your credit card or whatever. Sounds good. Okay. So that's about all I have. Me too. You? Me too. All right. Well, it's the, I'm in the what I call the calm before the storm. I'm not starting anything new. I'm just finishing up a couple of things before the retreat. Because mm -hmm. once the retreat hits, I want to knit those projects. For man, bud. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, you're doing the big skirt. That's yeah. gonna. I mean, that's Can't almost wait. like a sweater. A sweater without sleeves. It'll be like, you know, <laughs> as, as far as the amount. Yeah. Well, that's why when I looked at the patterns available, I did pick a pattern that had some uh, stitched pattern to it, mm -hmm. um, so that it wouldn't get boring. Okay. I, I, and, and it's got pleats. Oh. It's got pleats okay. too. So I thought I don't want this. You know, I I, I want. I want something that's going to keep me engaged. Good. Because otherwise it'll be end up half finished and yeah. that won't make parent teacher okay. conferences in November. So have you done anything with pleats before? Nope. So good. Something new. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, sounds so. great. Okay. All right. Well thank you. All right. See you next time. Happy knitting. See ya. Bye bye. Have fun. <laughs>